Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1970 Seattle Pilots What If Scenario. Today's matchup is between the Seattle Pilots and the Cleveland Indians at Cleveland Stadium. On the mound for the Pilots today is Dick Ruthven, whose record is 2-2 two two with a 270 ERA. And pitching for the Indians is Louis Tiant, whose record is 11-12 with a 451 ERA. Okay, you may be wondering what happened to the second game of the doubleheader yesterday that I promised. Well, I did play game two uh, of the doubleheader, but my computer was just not cooperating. Uh, as the game started, it began to lag uh, like significant like amounts of time. At one point, there was like an eight-minute lag. And I'm like, well, once it gets through this, I'll just edit that part out, um, and the, it'll be fine. But once I completed the game, and I went back through to do the editing, I listened to portions of it, and there were large amounts where it was just static. You could barely hear what I was saying because the game just kept you know, uh, jumping in fits and spurts. And so uh, I decided to just not upload the game. The game was played, and it was completed, I eventually got through it, um, but not without a lot of swear words. There was even a moment where I was like, well, maybe I'll just go in and I will edit all the swear words with like Aoogas and Wilhelm screams, you know, like in Star Wars, or like, ah, you know, as, you, as a guy falls off a, a building or something. I thought that might be funny. Uh, but like I said, it was so rough of a, a cut that there was no point in me. Uh, even wasting anybody's time uploading it, it would not have been worth watching uh, in that form. Now, let me tell you what happened in that ball game because there was a real reason for me to be angry. Let me go ahead and show you the play-by-play -play of this ball game, and we're not going to spend a ton of time on this. We're, this is just going to take a few moments, but you'll see here that we took the early lead in the first, and then in the bottom of the first, take a look at what happened. John Gelnar was pitching for us yesterday. The leadoff hitter, a single. Bob Bailey, a double scoring a run. John Gelnar balked. Billy Parker singled in a run and advanced on an error by Jose Cruz. Norm Cash then hit a three-run home run, <laughs> or two-run home run, and it was 4-1, to one, no outs, and the game was already over. I mean, we knew, I knew, you know, when the balk happened, there was no chance we'd ever come back from this ball game. But the inning was not over. Jack DeLaurel comes in. John Lowenstein singles. Then Jack DeLaurel throws a wild pitch. So a wild pitch, a balk, a home run, and an error already. And there's still nobody out. Jose Cardinal doubles, scoring a run. Five to one. Ken Suarez grounds out. There's the first out of the inning. Larry Brown, the number eight hitter, singled, knocking in a run. The pitcher mercifully struck out. Then Larry Brown stole second. His speed was a 77, and he was stealing against Clay Dalrymple, of all uh, players. And then Russ Nagelson popped up to third to end the inning. So in the first inning, as a recap, we had a wild pitch, a balk, an error, a stolen base, um, a two-run home run by Norm Cash. Gelnar didn't even get an out. He ended up giving up five of the six runs. And, I mean, it was over. But we kept chipping away, and things were looking good going into the seventh inning. We were down six to four. Uh, all hope was not lost. And then let me show you what happened in the seventh inning. It makes this, the first inning look like a piece of cake. Here it is, bottom of the seventh, single, single, strikeout, pop-up. Okay, so two outs with two runners on. Ken Suarez hit by a pitch. Larry Brown hit by a pitch, did not get a run. So back-to-back, -back, hit by pitches. Then the pitcher doubles. What a surprise. For two more RBI, a single, and then Bob Bailey hits a three-run home run. Billy Parker doubled and Norm Cash flied out. Um, and so as you might imagine, knowing my temperament, I was pretty upset 
at that point. Uh, yeah, and then the ninth app, uh, inning happened, and we scored some runs, but it was only because of the uh, Pythagorean uh, you know, run differential. They had to give us a few runs back. But we knew that there was no chance we were going to uh, you know, come back all the way. So here's the box score. Uh, John Gilnar took the loss. He did not get a single out. Ja uh, Jack DeLaurel did a, a pretty good job, actually, in relief. He really kept us in the ball game. He gave up one of the runs in the... Um, no, I'm sorry. He gave up two of the runs in the first inning. I guess he did give up two runs. And then Gary Timberlake was the one that got hammered uh, in um, the uh, seventh inning. And that's, you know, fine. He had a zero ERA before the giving up those seven runs. Steve Hargan got the win. Uh, he was 11 and 18 uh, because of that. And uh, Phil Hennigan came in. He's, we scored a bunch of runs off of him. Uh, yeah, so Jose Cruz had two doubles. Rollins had a, a double, Dalrymple doubled, and had a triple. Uh, just ridiculous. Belanger made an error. Jose Cruz had that error in the first. They had six extra base hits. And, um, and uh, including two home runs. So, yeah, I mean, it was, a, it was a, a, just a horrible ball game uh, any way you slice it. And, uh, and nothing went right, including the uh, recording of the game. So uh, we lost uh, game two of the doubleheader and uh, a half game ahead of Chicago. Uh, Detroit also is one game up on us. I'm sorry, they are not technically. They are half a game up on us. So, uh, so that's where we stand right now. A total debacle of a game. And I wonder now with the run differential, um, you know, will – we have a revenge game here. I guess we'll find out. So let's go ahead and get game three of the series started. Uh, as always, I appreciate everyone following along, like, and or subscribe to the channel. I mean, I would have had to have done so much editing in that game, too, just because of the cursing. Like, I just lost it in there somewhere. I think I just went medieval, and uh, I would have had to use a lot of... Um, uh, 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 bloopers to get out of that. So Dick Ruthven is uh, getting the start today. That's good news. Here's we, everybody in the bullpen is available except for DeLaurel and Timberlake. They're going to need some time off. Uh, we did get Ron Herbal back from his injury. Hopefully he can stay healthy the rest of the way. Here's our lineup versus Louis Tiant, a pitcher that I really like uh, and respect. Um, he is a right-hander. So what's our lineup in there versus righties? Uh, we got most of the good guys in there. We did give, uh, where's he at here? Rebbe Hermoso a start at second base in, uh, in uh, game two yesterday. Uh, but he didn't do anything. Okay, let's go ahead and do the lineup rundown. For the Seattle Pilots, batting leadoff in center field is Tommy Agee. There we go. Batting second in left field is Jose Cruz. Batting third in right field is Joe Pepitone. Batting cleanup playing first base is Darren Johnson. Batting fifth and catching is Manny St. Guillen. Batting sixth at third base is Aurelio Rodriguez. Batting seventh at second base is Van Kelly. Batting eighth at shortstop is Jerry Devenin. And batting ninth is the pitcher Dick Ruthven. Okay, here's Louis Tiant making his 35th start, 11 and 12 with a 4.51 ERA. We faced him earlier this year, and I remember we had a discussion that uh, I believe 1970 was pretty much the worst year of his career. Uh, so he's kind of doing that in this season. 176 strikeouts in 235 and two-third innings pitched. Opponents are batting 262 against him, six complete games, and a shutout. He's got six pitches in the arsenal, but only two are any good. Uh, the fastball is rated an 88, and a curveball rated an 81. Overall rated an 81. The 29-year-old righty is a free agent at the end of the 1972 season. Looking at his log, oh, he's coming off a loss to Minnesota. He went five innings, giving up seven runs, nine hits, and three walks. Not a particularly good performance. We scroll all the way back. Yeah, we got no... Starts against Seattle in the last 20. So, okay. 
Let's take a look here at the defense for the Indians. Again, they keep mixing it up, uh, which is kind of nice. Uh, Duke Sims behind the plate. That's a nice break from Suarez. He's got an 80 average, uh, 80 rated arm, which is league average. And a May in left field, Lee May. Not so good defensively. He must be a late season call up for them. Getting some at-bats in left field. Everybody else is the huge. Okay, here we go. Tommy Agee leading it off versus Louis Tiant. This is game 151, so we'll have 11 more to go after today's ball game. We are um, wrapping the season up before too long. We're going to try to steal. Uh, Agee was thrown out once in game one. Right down the middle, and A.G. steals second base. That is number 38. 38 of 60. Is that right? Ouch. Not so hot. So A.G. in scoring position for Jose Cruz. Cruz's batting average is up to 340. He had those two doubles in game two. Pops it up on the infield. There's one out. Here's Joey Pep. Getting the start in right field today is a ground ball to second. That will get A.G. over. And it will be up to Darren Johnson to drive in the run. He's got 90 RBI after uh, the doubleheader yesterday. And an easy out to short. Well, so much for that uh, leadoff walk. You have a runner in scoring position with nobody out. And it just did not happen. So we go to the bottom of the first. Let's take a look at the lineup. For the Indians, batting leadoff in right field is Russ Nagelson. Batting second at third base is Bob Bailey. Batting third at second base is Billy Parker. Batting cleanup playing first base is Norm Cash. Batting fifth and catching is Duke Sims. Batting sixth in left field is Lee May. Batting seventh in center field is Jose Cardinal. Batting eighth at shortstop is Zoilo Versales. And batting ninth is the pitcher, Louis Tiant. Okay, Dick Ruthven making his fourth start since getting called up. He is 2-2 two two with a 2.70 ERA, 16 strikeouts in 26 and two-thirds innings. Opponents are betting 282 against him. One save, one bluey. Fastball topping out at 89 miles an hour. Ground ball percentage is 40%. He's a two-pitch pitcher, uh, total opposite of Louis Tiant. He's got six pitches. Um, so his fastball is the only good pitch he's got right now, rated an 84. Overall rated an 81. The 19, actually 20-year-old, right-hander is arbitration eligible uh, in October of 73. Let's take a look at uh, his log. There's his three previous starts. He's coming off a good one versus the Yankees. He went seven innings, giving up one run and five hits. He walked two, struck out three, and looked pretty good. Take a look at our defense. I mean, it's good. I don't think it much matters to this game, but we are league average or better at every position. We have many uh, Seguin back behind the plate. He's got three consecutive starts where he's got three hits in a game, so let's we'll see if he can keep that up today. Here's Russ Nagelson. Leading off, and Ruffin strikes him out. I like that uh, Ruffin is uh, has the makings of a strikeout pitcher. As Bailey pops it up at home plate, Bailey had the big bomb in yesterday's game. St. Ian makes the catch, two down, and uh, Billy Parker strikes out. Nice, that's a good one, two, three inning for Ruffin. Certainly much better than yesterday's start. We go to the top of the second, and then he said, you yeah, the lead off. Full count. And he strikes out. Yep. First K for Tiant. Here's a radio, Rodriguez. And a line drive to short. Gonzalez makes the catch. Two quick ones, and Van Kelly will pop it up. I haven't been noticing what his um, assortment of pitches he's been using. 
couple change up there. We'll, we'll take a closer look next inning. We go to the bottom. The second here is Norm Cash. Cash had a home run yesterday, his 27th. Tied for the team lead with Billy Parker. Grounds out to short, and we got another ground ball to short. Back to back, good plays from Devannon. Two down, and Lee May floats it to left. I still like it to see, like, uh, you know, some of these guys at the end of their career, the ratings have pretty much, um, you know, disappeared. And it's, they still get a spot start. It's, that's good the game does that. To the top of the third. There's an infield single from Devannon. I knew we wouldn't get through both lineups without getting a hit. And Devannon is on the board. We're going to drop it like it's hot with the sack bunt. They're not even playing in at all. It's weird. A good bunt from Ruthven. Devannon will advance to second. So once again, runner in scoring position with less than two outs. Tommy Ag striking out looking. Is he at 100 strikeouts yet? He's got to be close. He needs two more. Jose Cruz. A base hit to center. Devan in around third. He scores. And it's 1-0 Seattle. Cruz, we're going to try to steal second base. There's two outs. It's worth a shot. And he's thrown out on a fastball. Bottom of the third, 1-0 Seattle. I hope that defensive uh, base running um, play doesn't turn the uh, tide here. Cardinal with a ground ball to second. And there's the first hit. So the number eight hitter for both teams, what a shock, uh, comes through with the first hit for each team. We're going to bring the corners in. We know Tiant's going to try to bunt. That's a good bunt. Back to Ruthven. And he makes the play to first. Back to the top of the lineup with Nagelson. This feels like a 1-1 one -one tie. Well, fly ball to the left. It's out number three. So we go to the top of the fourth, holding on to the lead. Joey Pep striking out. Three Ks for Tiant. Make it. Oh, no. I thought he was going to strike him out on that curveball. Oh, that was a palm ball. So he's throwing a slider, a curve, a palm. I mean, he's using everything. And Sagian grounds out to the pitcher. Bottom of the fourth. I'll let Dick Ruthven go as many innings as he can go. I'm not really too concerned if he gives up a few runs. Like I said, you know, in I think in game one yesterday, uh, I don't mind suffering the losses here. We do want to at least stay in the top five. Uh, for the draft next year. I have no interest in throwing a game or anything. As no cash grounds out to short. <laughs> All fastballs from Ruthven. 11 pitches. I don't know if those are all 11. But maybe they weren't all fastballs. But He's going with what's working. Aurelio. Ground ball to third. Van Kelly walks. Second walk from Tiant. I guess they're all scored out from yesterday's doubleheader. We did score 15 runs between the two games, right? Um, let's see if Kelly can steal second. If Tiant could throw anything other than a fastball, he should make it. You would think. Nope, fastball. Yep. Damn it. How does the game know to throw a fastball when you're stealing? I wonder. We go to the bottom of the fifth. 
Well, he'd been thrown out two out of three times by the backup catcher with an 80 arm. And it hasn't hurt us yet, but it's coming, right? We'll see here in a momentarily. Yep. This is where it falls apart. Duke Sims with a single. Lee May all the way to the wall. Well, if the catcher had tagged and went to second, I would have said for sure this is a loss, but maybe we have a chance. Oh, good job by Ruthland, that curveball. Three Ks. This is a shortstop for Salas. And what? The catcher tried to steal second base. That makes no sense, but I guess we just did the same thing, essentially. Ruthven will lead it off. Let's let him take a cut. He's one for seven on the year. Ruthven tags it to left. How are we not getting a bunch of balls to drop in in front of the left fielder, Lee May? That should be an automatic hit. Third walk issued by Tiant. Cruz has already been thrown out once today. Oh, that was a screw. Oh, knuckleball. Throwing the knuckler. All right, we go to the bottom of the sixth inning. Number eight hitter. Versalis was up at the plate when Sims got thrown out. There's a ground ball to third. Rodriguez making the play. The pitcher, Tiant, popping it up. Foul ground. Caught. There's a triple for Nagelson. Oh, no, he's going to be held in second. Okay, is this where they're going to get their run? 14th double for Nagelson. All right, let's just have, let it happen. Kelly cutting it off. He is amazing defensively. I wish he could just hit a little bit more. We go to the top of the seventh. We're holding on to the slimmest of margins. Darren Johnson. Tia put it right in the love zone. That was a curveball. His 33rd of the season and his 91st RBI, it's 2-0. I feel bad for Tiant. He's actually pitching well. Yeah, Manny's not going to get three hits today. Rodriguez flies out. And Van Kelly well, pulls it into right for a base hit. Four hits and three walks uh, it, given up by Tiant today. We'll let Devan and swing away. Yeah. Okay, we get another run on the solo shot from Darren Johnson. Only 76 pitches for Ruthven. I may as well send him back out there. Ground ball to Devan and from Billy Parker. One down. Okay, I mean, Norm Cash does concern me. He bats 310, but all he can do is get within one. 3-1 Three, count, and he was swinging. That is not wise. And we're down two runs. Two outs. Here is Duke. Duke Sims flying out to left field. Cruz making a catch. Moving on to the eighth, could we get our first shutout of the season from a, you know, a complete game shutout, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I guess we will, because Dick Ruth just doubled. That's so dumb. He's got two hits, one's a double. It's ridiculous. A leadoff double. Let's see if Tommy Ag can go to right field. He's not good with the bat doing that kind of stuff. No, he doesn't get it done. Deep to center. Can Ruth and tag? Oh, only a 20% chance. A 42 speed. That's my speed. 
So we won't, we won't be scoring this inning. That's fine. Ruthven is going to hold the third. Yeah, none of that matters. We'll hit and run, but it, it's uh, it going to be a strikeout throw him out. Oh, no! Three runs home run from Joey Pep. Well, we're getting our revenge from uh, yesterday's abomination. That's the 27th home run from Pepitone. He's got 80 RBIs. This is by far his best season since his heyday with the Yankees. Darren Johnson looking to go double dong day. He's hit the center. So we're finally getting to Tiant. Oh, that was a knuckleball. And Aurelio, well, let's look at the in-game stats. Aurelio does not have a hit today. Yep. Bottom of the eighth inning. I mean, it's just all on Ruthven. I, we got a five-run lead. I will let him pitch. Ground ball to third. Jose Cardinal. Base hit to right. Zelo. Oh, crap. Um, I'm, they're going to pitch it here. Richie Scheinblum. Oh, they went to third on that. So this is where they're going to get their one run. I mean, we could pull the infield in, but we'll give up the run for a double play opportun opportunity. It could be a three-run home run, too. Yeah, ground ball to first. Oh, it is a double play! The shutout is intact! Rufin's going to come out and get it, an opportunity at a shutting. That's good news. Oh, wow. Hedigan, who gave up three runs yesterday, is back out there. He's got to be listed as tired, right? No, not listed as tired. And Ruthven. He's got a double, pitching a shutout. He had a sack bunt that worked. And he's coming out here in the ninth inning, 113 pitches. He's pretty, I think 120 is about the right amount of uh, pitch count for that endurance of 78. Oh, nope, it was 115. Oh, shit. Well, we got to let him fight through it. He walks Nagelson. Line drive to right. And that, that's it. It's over. The glory is over. Oh, shit. Norm Cash. Oh, well, he's a double play candidate with, a, with a Bailey on first. He's also a three-run home run candidate. Let's find out. 2-2. Two -two. Oh, that's going to get everybody in. All right. Well, we tried. We'll bring in Denny Riddleberger. If those runs score, they score. Uh, we're going to win the ballgame now no matter what. But it just seems kind of ridiculous. Carlos win five to three. Another good game ruined by baseball mogul. Handshakes, butt slaps, sloppy stakes. Take a look at the standings. Oh, God. Well, at least Chicago won. Detroit lost, so we are tied with percentage points. Um let's see, National League. Now, suddenly, New York's coming back, of course. Houston's five back of, five and a half back of the Dodgers. Headline news. Brainiac Baseball Daily Beat. Hey, Doug Howard. Five RBI for the Angels. And that's all there is. Okay, transactions. Yeah, nothing there. Nothing for days. Okay, let's pull up the box score and get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and or subscribe. You know we got the giveaway coming up. 
I showed the prizes yesterday for third and second place. Uh, that was in game one of the doubleheader, if you didn't see it. Check it out. Um, player of the game. We'll give it to Joey Pep. He had uh, three RBI. Um, he had his 27th home run. Dick Ruthven gets the win. He's three and two. Eight and a third. The game was, he was never going to get that shut out. The game had already decided against it. Uh, Denny Riedelberger gets his 10th save. Probably the first save in a long, long time. Louis Tiant takes the loss. He didn't pitch bad until that three-run home run. Uh, he actually, he looked pretty good up to that point. Phil Hennigan pitched an inning in relief. They had three doubles. Okay, that's going to do it. We're going to come back tomorrow and play the fourth and final game of the series. Until then, everyone have a great day.